Hello and welcome to the Daily Meal for Saturday the 12th of June 2021. Now, a couple of days ago I told you how the next couple of weeks are going to be an absolute graveyard for meal news and today's couple of stories actually um, bears witness to that. So first off, I've still got a couple of stories for you. Um, nothing major. So this is from notheoldfirm.com which is a Scottish football news website which mostly covers uh, Scottish football that isn't Glasgow Rangers or Glasgow Celtic and they're talking about Alan Campbell a player who I believe we made a bid for in January of around a million uh, pounds it was rumoured to be that much and that was rejected and he's he's run his contract down he will be leaving Motherwell it will we assume but he apparently has said that he's leaving and they will be getting some kind of uh, youth product compensation so it's not going to be a free transfer but um, and I I said at the time I think if he is running his contract down and we've offered a million we've effect effectively set the price now one I was wondering if the compensation people will take that into account because if we go in and say, well, um, so compensation, I feel like we should pay like 400k. And then Motherwell can say, well, hang on, you bid a million. Especially if we made an official bid. And now have it on like a piece of paper or whatever. And then they can go to the tribunal or whatever and say, well, actually, mate, you bid a million for him in January when he had six months left on his contract. So that's what you value. That you valued him at that, at that time. So why are you trying to offer compensation of uh, less than that now? So I, I did say that that might be a problem, but let's have a read of this story and see where it goes. Says Helen Campbell, latest as multiple English sides chase Motherwell Academy graduate, and yes, more and more teams are joining in to the chase, and we'll see who they are. As we go through the story, Alan Campbell is wanted by multiple English teams, with Fulham and Millwall believed to be two of the teams after the Motherwell Academy graduate. The former Scotland under 21s midfielder is leaving Motherwell this summer, having been with the Fir Park club since he was a child. He will be available for a compensation fee with Fulham, Millwall, Luton Town, and Peterborough United all keen on Campbell. So we're all those teams are in the championship um, uh, Fulham, uh, Mill and Luton Town playing the English championship while Peterborough United are in League 1 I don't believe that is true I think didn't they get promoted am I going crazy I'm pretty sure they got promoted um, Motherwell manager Graham Alexander confirmed Campbell's departure last month while the Fur Park club have since announced the midfielders exit Motherwell have made one new sign so far this summer, blah blah blah, I don't really care about that. So there you go, so we're now, it's a four way battle, and that's the ones we know about. Uh, all championship teams, uh, all in the south, east-ish, or Peter Resbit Central of England, so we'll see, so there's in terms of geography, there's not really much between them. Maybe you'll want to come to London. So Fulham or Millwall. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe he wants to go somewhere where he'll be guaranteed to play. And that might be Luton and Prevera. Um You don't know. You never know. Um, so we've just got to wait and see. Uh... Who he decides to go to. Um, so there's that story. And our second and final story of today's video is this. This is from the londonnewsonline.co.uk, which is the South London Press's online website. And it says claims that Portsmouth midfielder set to trial with Mills under 23 squad. Released Portsmouth midfielder Gerald Gerard Story 
is reportedly set for a summer trial with Mills under 23 side. After arriving from Portadown in 2019, Story made just one first team appearance for Pompey in their 3 0 EFL trophy victory against Cheltenham in December 2020. Story is capped at Northern Ireland under 17 level after making his debut in 2018. The 19 year old was released from Fratton Park this summer. The Portsmouth News are reporting that Story is set for a trial with Millwall. Uh, Swansea's uh, development side are reportedly also keen on the Northern Irishman. So, not just the first team when they're signing players, they're signing players for the under 23 team as well, and then they're handing out trials to players um, of players that are released by other clubs. And they're, I've told you about this before in previous videos about the squad limits coming into League 1 and League 2 and Portsmouth have released a load of players um, we've got the, uh, the, they got a new manager down there uh, Danny Cowley I believe and they have released a lot a lot a lot of players and uh, so you don't know if that's just to get in under the, um, the squad limits that have been imposed by the EFL or whether they've they're doing a uh, complete uh, gut and refit of the squad after they've come in and replaced Kenny Jacket. So yeah, and we do in the that. So this story comes from Portsmouth News. Um, this is just South London Press that are, are re re um. Um, reporting it from the Portsmouth News website and they actually say in their thing that so do Paul Robinson who is the under 23 manager or his assistant under 23 assistant he's uh, of course he's got a link to Portsmouth FC because he was down that way um, he was working for well, having in Waterlooville and he's got a link with Portsmouth so they they actually mentioned that in the, their their story. So there you go. So it's just a trial. It's he, he's not set to sign. But there you go. That's it for Millwall news. I said there's not the next couple of weeks is going to be slim picking. So not not a lot happening on the scene. Um, the only other thing that I can probably mention is uh. Rumours of the um, bloody lockdown continuing. We will not be free on the 21st of June, which for Mill fans and football fans in general, that's probably going to bugger up the um, chances of you going to pre-season games because they said they're going to move it to like J July the 9th or something, July the 19th. So that's the whole pre-season bugger. Um, Pre-season games will be behind closed doors, it, it, um, it appears. Or there will be massive restrictions in place still. Um, the masks, the distancing, all, all of this stuff. 50% um, capacity, 25% capacity, no away fans, all that's uh, set to continue because they absolutely lied to us. And we it's not going to be next Monday on the 21st of June when all of this nonsense is going to get thrown away we actually have to do it for another four weeks and I assume as well in an, in four weeks time that they'll come up with another reason to move it to another four weeks so which is going to affect those of you who have bought season tickets or tickets to actual league games uh, coming up so yeah um, pretty uh, pretty depressing that this nonsense is set to continue and i'm gonna leave it there thank you for watching today's video goodbye